Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Grant from Grant and Shelby. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'm very excited today because today is November, which that means for me is a new program. I've been trying to figure out exactly which program I've been wanting to do. I usually switch it roughly around every month or two, and I try to stay consistent as much as I can. I usually divert back to my old ways like halfway through the month, but this one is gonna be different because I am filming it. This is gonna push me to, to my limit. So, and now what type of training am I talking about? I'm talking about GVT, which is also known as German volume training. German volume training is great for developing muscle. Uh, it's great for burning a lot of fat and a lot of calories, unwanted calories during an off season. Uh, but mainly I've been wanting to do it because I've wanted to challenge myself in a couple of different ways. So first off, what is German volume training? German volume training is a type of training where you typically will do a uh, workout of an isolation or of some sort of body group or 10 sets for 10 reps. And so what that looks like is that you typically do two to three different exercises, maybe even four if you're really feeling it at like roughly around 60% of, uh, of your one rep max. Now for each set, you will have a 90 second pause, which that is a very crucial thing especially whenever it comes to GVT or German volume training. And that's the part that I'm really scared of. I really feel like I will not be keeping this to its, to its potential. So um, I'm gonna try my best to do this. I'm going to track along like halfway through the month, see how I'm doing, see how I feel, see if like I've grown or anything. Um, just a lot of stuff like that and then at the end of the month I'll probably give my own opinion about it and see if people should do it or should not do it I will say from the things I've read and the things I've watched They say that beginners do not start doing this because it is a completely different type of workout It's going to make you super fatigued for intermediate to advanced they, they do recommend it So so for me, I feel like I'm a little bit intermediate, you know, I've been working out for a while I know some mind muscle connectivity within my body. So I feel fairly comfortable in doing it. There are a couple of different things I'm a little bit skeptical about. It's just like I typically do quads and hamstrings on specific days on separate days compared to just doing it on one full day. So it'll be a little bit different for me. Another key factor for this is, is your diet. That's one of the bigger things on this. So, you know, with diet with anything is very important. If you are changing your routines, if you are doing some other different activities, if you are doing any other activities that, that you know, it's not normal for, for your body. In order to optimize it to its full potential, you need to have a straight diet or some sort of dietary restriction. So um, for me, I'm gonna be trying to eat more at home, uh, more cooked meals, a lot more simple carbs compared to complex carbs. Um, I'm going to be probably relying heavily on Gatorade or any sort of Powerade. Again, from what I've read is that you just get super fatigued. Your body will feel exhausted. I'm planning on doing about a four to five day split. Um, I'm gonna start with four days and see how it is. And then if, if that doesn't really hit me too hard, then I'm gonna go to five. Excited to try this out. Excited to see exactly how it does with my body. And uh, yeah, I will keep you guys updated. What do you guys think? Do you think I'm crazy? Do you think I should go even harder? Please leave your comments down below. And if you have any questions, please leave them down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate you guys. And uh, let's get to it. I'm excited for November. 